A mom wants to book the family vacation soon. She decides to leave it up to her children, nieces, and nephews to determine where they will go this year. They have three choices, Cedar Point, Disney World, or Great Wolf Lodge. Part A, determine the board account winner. So in doing the board account, the first thing we do is assign zero points to the last choice. And for every step you move up, you're going to get one more point. So what I'm going to do is kind of recreate this table. And within each cell, I'm going to write down how many total points each letter is going to get. So in that first cell with G, three votes worth two, so that's six. C gets three votes worth two, so that's six. D gets two worth two, so four. In the second row, we have C, D, and G. So each of these are worth one point, so three, three, and two. And then the last row, everyone's going to get zero because everything is worth zero points. Okay, so going through and just counting up how much each one has. So let's start with Cedar Point. So C has three, six, and zero. D has zero, three, and four. And G has six, zero, and two. Okay, so the board account winner is the one with the most points, so that's going to be C, so Cedar Point. Okay, so as a follow-up, Billy and Zachary were the children who wanted to go to Disney World the most. So looking at our table here, the last two, they wanted to go to Disney World the most. Before the vote took place, they snooped around and found out how all of their siblings and cousins would vote. How could they insincerely vote to get a better outcome for themselves? So in other words, they're going to change their vote to not be their true preference to try to get a better outcome. So if you look at how they voted, they preferred Cedar Point the least, and Cedar Point is the one that won. So let's see how we can change the vote. We can't move D up any higher because D is as high as it can go, but Great Wolf, Great Wolf Lodge is going to be the better choice, so that needs to move up. You certainly don't want to move C up any higher because then you're going to give it more votes. So what we're going to do is let's switch around the D and the G to give G more votes and still keep C low. So I'm going to rewrite this table. So the first one is still G, C, and D. The second one is still C, D, and G. But instead of D, G, C, I'm going to switch the D and the G. Okay, so let's go through and see if that affects the point. So the first two are going to stay the same. So 6, 3, and 0. Okay, in the last column, D is going to get the 4. I'm sorry, the G is going to get the 4 and the D is going to get the 2. Okay, so now C has 3, 6, and 0, so that's not going to change. D is going to have 0, 3, and 2. So D does go down some votes, but now G is going to go up. So 6, 0, and 4 makes G become the winner which is a better outcome for Billy and Zachary. So now the Great Wolf Lodge is the board account winner. So even though Billy and Zachary switched their votes around, they still got something that they preferred a little bit better.